Jeff and Pat, the 50 year old victim, was hit, killed, and left along Town Avenue right behind me here. Today, many are thankful that police were able to identify, locate, and arrest the suspect in less than 48 hours. I was ready, willing, and able to do whatever I could to make sure that, uh, that we found resolution to what is a tragedy. George Hernandez is glad to hear of an arrest in a fatal hit and run that happened in front of his house. His security camera caught the collision that happened around 2.30 a.m. Wednesday on the 1600 block of Town Avenue in Claremont. Well, it was very disturbing for me because uh, I'm a retired firefighter and, and uh, we don't normally see the incident. We see the aftermath. And I saw the aftermath, then I saw the incident. Claremont police say Georgia's security video is one of several that helped identify the person who hit and killed 50 year old James Radzik. We aren't showing the collision, but here we can see when LA County Fire came across his body as they were driving by on Town Avenue. Claremont police say investigators gathered Georgia's video and others from residents and businesses to piece together who was responsible. It was a Toyota Sienna, later model. Uh, uh, it was missing certain hubcaps. Investigators say the car belonged to 67 year old Helen Shuplin. They tell us she runs a karaoke business, which she operates out of this sports bar not far from the accident scene. Patrons here confirmed this is her on Facebook. Police believe Shuplin was behind the wheel under the influence of alcohol when she hit Radzik. They arrested her at the sports bar Thursday evening. Her life has changed forever, as is the victim whose brother I met yesterday as he was praying across the street. Ratzik also leaves behind a wife and two young children. As for Shuplin, she's being held on a $100,000 bail and she is due back in court on Monday. Reporting live in Claremont, Rachel Kim, CBS 2 News.